Got a chance to go back on uh, Sunday and uh, see what the tape revealed. Um, and the reality was that we knew that it would require our very best uh, in a day that, or a morning, that would uh, hopefully catch the, uh, the Aggies off guard. I thought our preparation was one that was diligent. I thought in the, the first half, uh, we had some opportunities. Um, we get the ball first, um, put together a couple of first downs, have to punt it away, come back, uh, put our defense on the field, and they go out and get a sack and a tackle for loss and force a, a punting situation for our opponent. Uh, get it back offensively, go down, uh, and mix up variation of run pass. And I thought really had a chance to, to keep them off balance uh, before they woke up, if you will. Uh, went down and got a score there and continued, although not in points, but to move the ball uh, effectively uh, in the first half. Uh, they came back uh, at the back in the first half, uh, went back-to-back -back opportunities, possessions, one uh, a one play, uh, and just a, a misfit for, from us defensively. Probably not the best call. Just very conscientious how talented they were at the receiver position and wanted to deter them from running the, the glance route and things of that nature. Um, and then we bolted down and got the safeties a little more involved uh, and took some shots there. But anyway, they, they scored 14 unanswered, go up 14-7, uh, then a late one uh, in the second quarter. Come back in the second half, um, and I thought, you know, they really at that point realized that we were there to play. And we have a football game, uh, and they showed uh, why there are – uh, a premier program uh, in college football and uh, kind of extended the lead in the second half, played keep away from us, uh, and a lot to be attributed to uh, that program, a fine program with Coach Fisher and the job that they do. But I thought our kids never quit. We continued to play really hard, uh, got an uh, interception for a touchdown at the back end, uh, and just was very resilient in our style of play and proud of the opportunity to go to such uh, a prestigious place, Kyle Field, uh, 125th anniversary for that program, an opportunity to play on SEC Network. Uh, and I thought our kids embraced it and, uh, and gave it their best shot. And so now we, uh, we turn our attention to, uh, to a no Dominion team. So from a competition standpoint in the immediate, does, this, does that game <coughs> serve really well for what you can do the rest of this year? Yeah, you know what? For our team, uh, I asked that question. I said, what do you, what'd you guys think? Was it what you thought it would be? A little more, a little, little less? And they were very respectful of their opponent because they're a talented team, but we can play with them. We get, are we playing them again next year? And I say, no, we'll play another SEC team, and they only need one a year. So be careful with your action, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they were not – they didn't leave there uh, with the impression like, there's nothing we could do. It was just impossible. You know, even the, the big plays, and there were five, six of them, uh, big runs for – during near 200 yards that were costly, uh, there were fits. There were alignment issues. Um, they didn't just step over us, walk over us. Uh, I thought we, we continued to tackle, uh, tackle for losses, uh, contest passes, and do things of that nature. Uh, but they're, uh, they're a very talented program, and every year will be uh, pre or postseason, a top 25 team in the country, in my opinion, because that's the caliber of program and athletes and coaching that they have over there. But our, our, our team did not leave there thinking there's no way in the world we could ever play with a team like this. That, as a matter of fact, when we got back and saw the things that were done in the game, like, man, I can't believe I was that wide or I should have been that much tighter or if I had a little more touch on the overthrow to, uh, to the receiver, things of that nature. And so uh, you learn from it, you grow from it. Uh, I think uh, I, I said to our team, if we're able to play with that type of confidence and effort consistently, uh, we'll have a chance in every one of these games remaining because all of these count. Uh, that was one that we enjoyed, uh, that we embraced, but the next four, uh, they count. And uh, we'll take them one week at a time, one game at a time. How's Lowell feeling? Is he you still confident he'll be good to go this week? Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, you know, had a little swelling there in, in, in his non-throwing hand. Uh, took x-rays on the sideline. Nothing was broken. Um, it, it was nasty because the nail uh, got pushed all the way back underneath the skin. I've never seen anything like So they have to go in there and pry it out, the, the nail. And so it, was, it, it bled profusely. 
just because of the soft tissue deals there. But uh, it's just not throwing hand. It has subsided, and uh, I think he'll be ready to go this weekend. Thank you, guys. Thank you.